Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mark Lamont, man. Welcome to Elbow Media Studios. And if this is your first time, boy, welcome to the channel, man. Listen, over here, all we do is get busy, baby, doing tutorials, making beats, tech, everything you could ever want in the channel, right? For sure. Listen, today I have another Beatmaker 3 tutorial for you guys. And today we're going to be talking about time stretch, you know what I mean? We're going to look at how to take a sample, stretch that sample, and make it to where you can do anything you want to do with that sample, and we're going to break it up on the pads, all right? All right, so let's go ahead on and start us um, a new track. So we're going to go ahead and hit the menu buttons over here, and we are going to start us a new session. So let's go ahead and hit new over here. We're not worrying about losing anything over there. And... We're gonna go get us some samples. So I'm gonna go into the I'm gonna go into my folders and I'm going to my imports and we're going to look for us a sample. Let's go. Let's see what we got up in here. No, I've been there done that. We ain't gonna use that. Let's see. Hmm. Let's turn it down a little bit. kind of like that right there okay so let's go ahead on take that sample and pull it on over to our first pad and then now we're going to go into the sample section so if you just pop on to your next option over to your left and as you can see we're definitely in the sample section and what we're going to do is we're going to first try to figure out what's our tempo so let's go ahead on and go over here to our bpm and we're going to go calculate tempo and it's going to say it's 70 so that's fine we're going to go ahead and lock that at 70. And then we just want to make sure that we put our tempo at 70 as well, just to start up. Okay, that's probably not a necessary step, but we'll just go ahead and put that. Make sure everything is locked in, everything is good. Okay, so now that we have uh, our tempo good, we're going to go ahead and go to live stretch right here. Okay, after we click on live stretch, it's going to ask us what do we want to do. We want to do high performance or we want to do high quality. Let's go ahead on and stick to high performance, okay? Once we do the, once we go ahead and put it into live time stretch, now we can manipulate uh, the sample by changing its tempo. Let's take a look and see, uh, look and see what we could do to do that. Let's go ahead and take the tempo up to 90 and let's see how that sounds. You hear that? So it's not changing octave, it's not changing anything, it's keeping the sample at its exact octave, but it's playing it faster. Yeah, you know, we used to do this back in the day when we used to sample and we used to uh we'll we'll scale the keyboard and it would always either be slow or fast or whatever. Man, again, those days are gone. Let's move it up to a hundred and ten and see how it sounds. All right, you're going to make me put it in. Okay. Now we had 110. Let's listen to it. Still sounds clean to me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that sounds clean. Let's take it to... Uh, let's go ahead and take it to... I don't know. Let's go 45. Man, that sounds great. <laughs> the algorithms inside of Beatmaker 3 are phenomenal with some of the stuff that they can do with samples, man. It's just unbelievable. Let's get this thing back up to 70. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to chop up the sample so that we can play the sample over uh, different keys. So let's go ahead and go. We're going to go into Auto Slice. We're going to go into split. We're going to split it 16 ways. Now we're going to go back to our pads. We're going to go to keys. And once we get up in the keys, now you will see that the sample has been split up. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I 
that is pretty cool. So now you could actually take this and actually, you know what I mean, do something totally different with what it. I'm feeling some type of real producer right now, you know what I'm saying? Let's see what we could do with that. Hold up. Let's go take a look and see what we got. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and take that up to four bars. And let's, man, let's make us a beat with that. As you guys can see, um, time stretch is pretty cool. You can slow your track, your sample down. You can speed your sample up. Um, it's just a ton of things you can do. You can take your sample, or your sample. You can chop it up. Uh, you can play it on different keys, things like that. So, um, yeah, man, that's time stretch in, in, in a real quick tutorial. Um, again, we're gonna probably do some advanced stuff to show you guys some additional things that you can do uh, with time stretch. So, uh, yeah, stick around, man. You know what I'm saying? And again, I, I appreciate y'all staying to the end of the video. My name is Mark Lamont. This has been Elbow Media Studios. And hey, stick around, man. Go check out some more videos, baby. Don't forget to hit that sub button. Hit that notification bell so when I drop videos like this, you be the first to be notified. Hey, I'm going to holler at y'all in a minute, all right? Let me get back to this track, see if I can make something pop. All right, man, one. Peace.